Hello Taurus, this is Lisa with Heart of Inspiration. I'm here for your July 2019 general reading. This reading is for sun, moon, and rising signs. So Taurus, if this does not resonate with your sun sign, please check your moon and or your rising. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope by the end of this video, you will consider liking and subscribing and turning that notification on. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thank you so much. I'm so appreciative that you um, have come to watch another reading. All right, let's get into some overall energies for you, Taurus, because I have a very interesting reading for you, I think, this month. Um, overall energy of the Queen of Crystals, which is the Queen of Pentacles in the Star Child Tarot deck, followed by the Serenity card, followed by the Five of Crystals, followed by the Nine of Cups. Now these together because i feel like there's a story that's being told um definitely the queen of crystals virgo earth energy um maternal family i feel like the um peace perhaps in your household has been or in your world your like your close friend world or your family has been rocked a little bit with this five of crystals and when i'm looking at this overall energy um you yourself are like, I know I'm doing the right thing. I know that I'm looking at this the right way. So why in God's name is it not playing out the way that it should, right? Um, Why is it that it seems like I'm rather isolated? Why does it seem like no one's listening to me? Why does it seem like um, they, they may not be respecting your point of view enough you might be a little being a little stubborn, a little harsh, but overall you have everybody's best interest at heart. And I think um they could do well to listen, but it's your peace that has been rocked, perhaps because some things haven't manifested quite the way that you intended them to. So we're gonna take a bit of a look here. We're gonna see what we see. Um and let's see how this plays out. I'll be very interested. I'm going to use the mythic tarot to clarify. All right. So coming towards you um, in July, and I know this is close to end of the month, but this is going to be good for you for your um, full moon for the lunar eclipse that's coming up here on July 16th. Disappointment. And I am kind of thinking this is either, this could be disappointment in yourself your partner or your partner if you have one but i do see disappointment and this uh, despair and heartbreak kind of coming um you would have gotten some news or there could have been with the page of wands oh. there's been a jolt perhaps um or or it's coming the jolt is coming to your normal routine um to the to the your world a jolt somebody uh maybe leaving you know breaking up or there's a sickness or change in jobs but there's been a jolt to the routine um and it almost feels like you might have to like walk away from a life that you're happy with to kind of do something new um and with also the emperor here you're it's 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 got you rocked you're a little stubborn um you know it's what you need to do or you know it could potentially be the best thing but there's still some disappointment and for some of you it's a disappointment in yourself that you didn't make a decision fast enough or you can have the potential to be disappointed if you don't make this decision fast enough let's put it that way um and you're digging your heels in. you don't really want to make this decision right away you're digging your heels in um so nothing's moving uh so watch for that as well um be very careful all right ace of cups you know you want fulfillment you want a fresh start you do want to start over but just like some of you is you're wanting to start over on your own terms you do want a fresh start but for others of you
your terms, your way, um, and in your timing. King of Pentacles, your it's Capricornian energy, so money is really on your mind as well. Um, but please try to to uh, with the High Priestess trust your intuition in regard to this. You can have this new start, and you can have success, and you can have um, and you can have it all. You're gonna have to move though, probably a little bit faster than you want to in order for it to happen, or you're gonna have to recognize that someone else has moved on quicker than you might wanna realize it, okay? Because I am feeling, and we're gonna see a little bit, I am feeling for some of you, if you're in a relationship or a situationship or something, Taurus, I'm feeling for some of you, there's some, you know, outside third-party influence that's going on um, that you may find out this month as well. maybe uh, obstacles three of cups this could be outside this is some kind of definitely third party outside interference in the situation be it work entrepreneurship romance whatever the situation is um here's more cup energy with the queen of cups they're screwing there could be screwing with money or love or influencing and being in a rather negative influence there that could be a water sign cancer scorpio or pisces uh, specifically, it could be a cancer. It could be a maternal type figure, a mentor, a female mentor, and you are trying to juggle or you will be trying to juggle or that's an obstacle trying to juggle the money, right? The money ain't quite right. Trying to keep everything in balance and um, above board. What's going to help you overcome it is a seven of swords. Listen, you got to recognize when when somebody may or may not have your, when somebody may not have your best interest at heart, Okay. God, this is like really a man. So with the two of cups coming out, this is some kind of partnership. Could be a romantic partnership. Could be, you know, business. Could again, could be a mentor. Um, if this is a love situation, recognizing that there is some lying and some cheating going on and really facing that fact, and it's going to come to you in a jolt. It's going to come to you very Page of Wands-ish. I have also Aries. I have Pisces, again, with the High Priestess. I have I, I pretty much everything here. So I'm all energy. So it's not specific to any one sign. Um, But recognizing that this is what's happened or what's happening is going to be key to helping you through this energy this month. And being very king of swords, um, like, look, this is the truth and I'm not dealing with it, right? Or whatever, having the discussion, but having it from the, a, a divine masculine point of view of I'm going to need the truth. Otherwise, for reals, we're not dealing. Like, don't get all mushy and divine feminine, baby, I'm going to give you one more try kind of thing, you know, like. Or, dude, yeah, I know you like you did me wrong in that deal, um, and you didn't really have my back, um, in that meeting or whatever it was, kind of threw me under the bus. But I'm gonna give you another chance because you're sitting here telling me whatever, whatever. Instead, and I'm not saying walk off your job or say something that's gonna have this person, if they're in a position of power over you, you potentially get fired. But what I am saying is, yeah, like you gotta kind of let them know by your actions and and your words. And in your thoughts that you're not just going to get taken advantage of anymore. And Taurus, you typically don't get taken advantage of because you side eye a lot. But I feel like this is a person you've really, really trusted. And that's why this one hurts a lot. That's why there's this, thir this three, you know, three of swords energy because this one cuts. Outcome or advice, four of swords, find peace. You will have peace by the end of the month. Here's a three of swords again. Oh my gosh. So you're going to go through the heartache. Potentially you're going to, you know, maybe you guys take a break or whatever. There's going to be heartache, disappointment. And with the hermit energy, very Virgo energy, but you're going to really, you're going to probably withdraw. You're probably going to want to like study all the stuff like 
I don't know, like really vet the situation out, really get into it, right? With a temperance card, um, patience, balance, you know, don't go too hard to the left, don't go too hard to the right. And here's the Ace of Cups again, because at the end of it all, there is this renewed love. So even though, um, or accomplishment, even though this person may have done you wrong, I really, it's almost like I see you guys airing out your differences, airing out the issues, outing the third party that's involved. It could also be a mother-in-law, um, a mother of a significant other, um, or an aunt or something like that, just to throw that out there. But you're going to assess the whole situation and then you'll be able to like with that king of swords energy logically and calmly and effectively lay out your feelings how it affected you and so on and so forth and then you guys could come to some sort of an agreement you could come to some sort of ending where it's a positive one for everybody okay so that that is what i see for you guys um i hope that it turns out for the best i really do now, at the very end of this video here in just a second, I do have a quick spot. Just stay on and watch it for me, um, if you don't mind. Um, it's uh, an announcement about learning to read tarot. I am having tarot classes on July the 20th. They start their five weeks. It's awesome. And if you wish to work with me via personal reading or a Reiki energy healing session, all of that information as well as the tarot class registration is on heartofinspiration.net. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you so much. Namaste. Bye-bye. Tarot classes start July the 20th. Learn to read tarot for only $297. Register at www.heartofinspiration.net now.